Okay, once again, so this is problem number 2 to 1. I will read the question and you listen first and then you try. And first understand the question, what the question says. And then you try. So let me read the question. 2 to 1. Uh, 2 to 1. Okay. So I have to go for 2 to 1. So this says, on the pole of earth, a body as is imparted velocity V0 directed vertically up. So this is the pole of earth uh, where a object is given velocity V0. So this object has been given a velocity V0 at the pole of earth directly a above knowing the radius of earth so radius of earth is known to you and so this is gravity uh, uh, free fall so the and the free fall acceleration on its surface is also known this means g is also known and mass of earth let us assume this is m basically in final result you will not find m so mass of earth is m find out the height to which the body will ascend. So this means the question says if you throw a object m with velocity v0 what will the maximum height this will uh, this object will attain. So you try this one I will take so have you understood the question or not. So you have to find out the maximum height let me give you a hint you have to apply fast energy conservation that is the energy at surface is equals to energy at distance h. So let us try, let us take 2 minute time, make a pause on your computer and do this problem, do roughly, find out the rough estimate, estimated answer and then we will discuss the solution. Okay, let us come to the answer. So what we have said, we have said this subject is going with velocity v0 in a of direction so this means there is no even I can neglect the rotational motion of earth so even this earth is rotating but at this point rotation can be completely neglected so this means this object has only one velocity that is the upward velocity there is no component neither in this direction there is no velocity because at this point this is a pole it will have zero velocity so around the axis it's rotating of course this is rotating but this is this rotation will have zero effect here because radius is zero you see from this line the distance is zero and that's why there is no velocity in the tangential direction you have to neglect the air drag also so this sufficient to apply the energy conservation so let us write the energy at the surface of earth if you see at the surface of earth what is the total energy that is the object have a velocity v0 so it will have a kinetic energy half m v0 square it will also have some potential energy here that is the height this distance that is radius of earth minus g m m by r this is the total potential energy so total energy becomes minus half m is not a square that is the kinetic energy and this is minus g m m by r so this is potential energy kinetic energy is half m b not a square potential energy is minus g m m by r now let us say it goes to a capital height H. So the maximum height attained by the object is capital height H. Now this means capital H maximum height attained. So H is maximum. So dH by dt will what? dH by dt will be 0 because if H is maximum then dH by dt has to be 0. This means velocity is 0 at that point. So when this object has reached to the maximum height let us say somewhere here at this point velocity will be 0. Are you getting or not? So at this point H is maximum so velocity is 0 so we will have only potential energy there is no kinetic energy. Are you getting or not? So at this point so only potential energy no kinetic energy. So let us say kinetic energy is 0 and total height so this is the height H from the surface of earth. So you see I am calling this height as a H. So this is the from the surface of so what is the total distance from center? that is capital R plus capital H. So I will have potential energy minus G M M by capital R plus capital H. Now since there is no viscous forces I can apply energy conservation that is half M V not a square that is the final initial energy minus G M M by R is equals to final energy G M M by R plus H. Now if you solve for this, two equa this equation if you solve for 
H, you will find this answer. This is the equation and then simply this calculation part, I am solving for H. You try to solve yourself, you will get this answer. Now see, this is the maximum height that will be attained by the object. So important point in this question is, I have thrown this object from the pole and the velocity is directly uh, towards the axis. This is first point important. It does not have any tangential velocity. So that I don't have to take the total velocity becomes simply the velocity along the axis because tangential velocity is zero. Because this has been thrown at the pole. If it has been thrown somewhere else, it will also have a tangential component of velocity. So that I have to consider into uh, this kind of problem. Another point is I have to see the potential energy at the surface. It also has some potential energy. Now I cannot assume that at surface potential energy is zero. Okay, we'll discuss the next problem because light has gone. I can't work anymore. You can see on the screen. So this is completely blank. What can we do? So this is our limitation. We have to work in the, we have to give the best result in this optimized situation. Okay, we'll discuss the next problem. Thanks God, we have done this problem.